everyone, it's Rella from Rella's Wondercrafts. In this video today, we are going to do a tutorial on how to add temporary tattoos onto a tumbler. So let's go ahead and we're going to get started. Okay, so to get started, um, I do have a 20 ounce Ozark tumbler here that I did buy from Walmart. Um, I did take a sanding, a piece of sanding paper, I believe it was 120 grit. Um, I sanded the whole tumbler so that it was nice and gritty and then I spray painted this one with a silver metallic spray paint uh, it was for Stolium that I got from Walmart um, the purpose of this is the customer that I'm making this for um, she just likes the grayscale she doesn't like a bunch of colors so I went ahead and just spray painted this silver to give it that nice shiny look behind the temporary tattoo so this one is going to be a Nightmare Before Christmas tattoo. As you can see, I have this sleeve tattoo. I did buy this off of Amazon. It was only, I think, $10 on Amazon. But I I got several of these. I received this one, of course. And I also received quite a few more here, as you can tell. So... For $10, it wasn't that bad. There's four of these, and I also received four smaller ones. So, pretty good deal, I think, from Amazon, especially with these being these big sleeve tattoos. Now, this is a temporary tattoo. Uh, I will go ahead and put the link to these in the description as well, in case you want to do this. So, with the temporary tattoo... Basically, what's going to happen is once you put it on, you will see the silver behind the tattoo, but that's not a bad thing. It's actually going to look really nice. Um, I've seen these done before, so I'm really excited to see how this turns out. I've seen a lot of people also add like the holographic glitter to the tumbler, and then they added the temporary tattoo. And if you take a look on Amazon, there's a lot more than just the Nine Before Christmas. There's quite a few others. And most of them are really neat looking. They're gorgeous, especially on holographic glitter. And you don't even have to add any kind of spray paint. Um, I do always recommend um, sanding if you do put any kind of spray paint. But you could just leave this as a stainless steel, no spray paint, anything like that. Um, I, I think it adheres better, though, if you do have that grit to the tumbler and I recommend sanding the tumbler just because when you add any kind of glitter or paint or picture it seems like it adheres a lot better to the tumbler itself so in order to add this I'm going to cut this with this I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out you do not want to take off the plastic the covering that's just right here you do not want to take that off just yet so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut around this okay now not all of this tattoo is gonna go on to the tumbler just because this is not it's not the biggest tumbler you could get a 30 ounce it would probably fit the whole thing uh, once you cut it in half so let's go ahead and put these in the trash so let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this like this. So this will give me a good idea of where to line this up at. So right here is the end of it. I want a good bit of Jack on here. I do like the moon and his hill, but I do want a good portion of Jack in these little pumpkins. So and this is totally up to you on how you do this. It's going to wrap around a good portion. So let's bring this down just a bit. It looks like it's going to be about right here. So. So I'm just going to cut around. I'm going to go ahead and cut right here as well because this is basically where it ends. Was that little crease right there. Okay. Let's see where we're at. And 
this will take quite a bit of adjusting. So let's see. Uh, so about right there. And I can always go back through and just edit this the way I need to. Yeah, so that's a pretty good fit right there. Can you see that? Looks like it's a pretty good fit. Um, I will go ahead and kind of round this out a bit. You guys can see I'm rounding out. Now I will probably go back through this one and add some alcohol inks to it or acrylic paint, whatever you want to add to it to give it some extra pizzazz. Okay, now obviously it doesn't go on like this. It will be going on like this. Um, and this will be applied just as a regular temp uh, temporary tattoo would be applied onto your skin. Um, so let's see. Okay, so we're gonna do this one at a time. And I'm gonna go ahead and take off. Here, let's go ahead and do this. So I do have a towel down here because where you have to wet the tattoo. And I do have a thing of water here as well. So, and you don't want the dish rag to be super wet, just kind of damp. Like I said, if you've ever applied a temporary tattoo to your skin, then you know how the process works. So I am gonna go ahead and turn this towards me because this will take some concentration. You have one shot to do this, one shot. So go ahead and take off the plastic piece and then one shot to put this down. So. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my rag or my washcloth rather, and I'm gonna just start in the middle. All right, add a little bit of pressure to it, just like a temporary tattoo. Add some pressure, move it around. I'll have to get this part a little bit more wet here in just a minute. So I'm just adding, I'm just smoothing out, adding pressure to it, just to make sure that it's nice and solid onto that tumbler. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. See how it looks. Yes, sweetie. And there it is. I think that's beautiful. So, but that's how the temporary tattoo looks, and that's on a silver background. So, and it's a lot more vibrant, honestly, than I thought it was going to be, but I love the shine to it. It is fantastic. I like how it looks. I think it looks really neat. And this, from my understanding, like, it is pretty much permanent. I mean, I'm running my finger over it right here, and it's not even coming off. So... I'm still going to add epoxy to this, but I think this is amazing. And it might take a little bit to get those temporary tattoos down when you apply them. Um, like mine had the, those little creases right there with 
where Jack's face, you can see a little bit better now that it's drying, but, well, with the light anyways, but if you don't have the light, you really can't even tell that there's any kind of crease in it. So, it turned out great. I really like this. Of course, I'm a huge Nightmare Before Christmas fan as well, so this is just, I almost want to keep this one for myself. <laughs> Yeah, I really do. I might, like I said, once I once I epoxy this, I'll probably end up adding some alcohol ink to it. Just to kind of give it a little flavor flav. Okay. So I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes here. And then we'll um, do the other side with Oogie Boogie. So I will be right back, guys, okay? Okay, we are back. So this is dry now. I'm going to go ahead and so this took up a pretty good portion of area, which is fine. This is actually going to end up having a monogram on it. So Oogie Boogie. Let's see where we're at with this. So that's where Jack is. Boogie is up bit here. Okay, let's go ahead and do that and do this so I know where to cut. Okay. Go ahead and cut straight across. This might be a little tricky here, just lighting this up correctly, because we don't want to overlap Jack. And I don't want this to overlap zero either. Because zero is right there. So what we'll do is I will go ahead and this down a bit here. Let's see, where are we here? Let's go ahead and I'm gonna cut this down to a bit here, guys. <clears throat> and like I said, I'm gonna go back through and add some stuff, just some effects to it, some alcohol inks to fill in any empty space that we have. Okay, so I think we're good. <clears throat> Okay. And get our. I did put the washcloth. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I did get the washcloth. I put it back into the tub. Water. Okay. So, let's go ahead. Take off the plastic. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Since last time we had some of the paper kind of wrinkled, I'm going to go over it like this this time. Hopefully that will kind of keep the paper from bubbling. Okay. 
like I said, this does take a little bit of time. Everything takes practice. And there's nothing wrong with that. Going back over a little bit more with the water, making sure we get everything. All right. boom you can see where it overlaps here but it doesn't look bad here sorry guys let me show you let me throw this away real quick okay so let's see here okay so you see where it overlaps right there And looks pretty good. So that's how you apply a temporary tattoo onto a tumbler. Um, with this kind of method, is it, it is going to take time to apply the temporary tattoo. You just have to be patient with it. Make sure you are applying water to the entire tattoo but that's it that is how you apply a temporary tattoo i love the idea and the concept of the temporary tattoo um like i said amazon has quite a few different tattoos you can choose from you can buy a variety pack that i, I did look at i did not buy that just because I love Nightmare Before Christmas. I've got customers that love Nightmare Before Christmas. I know that they're going to love this cup once it's finished. Uh, the empty space right here, I will be adding some alcohol inks to this. And I will go ahead and do a video on that as well, on how I will be applying the alcohol inks to a cup like this. Um, with it being a silver base, the alcohol inks, it, they should still come out pretty pretty decent I think. Uh, if anything I can just add a coat of epoxy and add the alcohol inks on top of that layer of epoxy once it's cured. And just also keep in mind with the temporary tattoos even though they do come pre-made with you know this even though they do come pre-made like this you can buy printable temporary tattoo paper. I have looked at the that kind of paper, the temporary tattoo paper that is blank. You can put your own design onto the paper. It is a bit pricey, not outrageous. I it wouldn't be something that I would look at and be and just be like, oh my gosh, that's way too much. No, I, I think it's a decent price for especially with what you can do with these. Alright guys, this is how the Nightmare for Christmas Tumblr turned out temporary tattoo I think it looks pretty great I did go ahead and add these those alcohol inks to it and I add this pretty monogram to it as well and that is it so make sure to like and subscribe to Rella's Wondercrafts to my channel um, check out my group on Facebook Rella's Wondercrafts we also have a group on there called learn the craft with Rella's Wondercrafts and that's it thanks guys bye